What up, Hard Squad? Welcome to another Guess That Grade, where we will be predicting and finding out the results of that first edition Blastoise holographic that I pulled last week. If it not only comes back a Gem Mint 9.5, but for the first time in history, a possible black label, it would be incredible. Even getting a pristine 10 would make history. But for now, what this is, it's basically you and I as a community, as the Heart Squad, are going to take a look at and predict or guess the grades of some of the rarest Pokemon cards in the world. I will be going to a grading company. This time it is Beckett or BGS. And in the same video, we will be taking a look at said grades and hopefully we got the grades that we predicted. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Leonard. I do Pokemon card openings and basically anything revolving around Pokemon, please stick around by subscribing and hit the thumbs up button. Let's get this video to 10,000 likes. Let's get right into the first one. This is the first edition Hitmonchan, but what is special about this one, which we also pulled last week, it is a gray stamp one. As... Uh, hopefully that's not spit. Okay, that was I was like, did I just spit everywhere on the cart? Yeah. So basically, the gray stamps, what makes them special is the fact that the ink basically just didn't have time to dry. There was not as much ink in the system. So yes, smack dab with a stamp that I will go ahead and show you because you know we're going to grade it. Look at the difference. That one's darker. That one's... And this is like a legit awesome gray stamp one. Now, of course, the magical way to get rid of all the ink stains that were all over the cards was by licking the card and it did work just like it did on the nine tails so for this specific one i am going to take it out because i'm already going to say this is definitely not a 10. it's not even probably a 9.5 because of not just the centering as you'll see the bordering around it because beckett grades in four different categories just like psa does as well but we will actually be able to once we get the results look at what was the cause of that grade because the first thing is the centering which is extremely important so you have the yellow border around it and it looks like from the right to the left there's more centering on that side to the left going to the back that blue border actually looks better than the other side but at the same time it's not the best taking a look at the corners you will see a little white mark right there that one actually like the rest of them look very very good even the edges which is another category the edges of the card all look non-frayed no hollow bleeding which is essentially the shiny part coming out of the sides and uh overall uh it i got rid of all those ink stains that were basically everywhere on the card it took a while but we got rid of them Uh, I don't see any print lines or anything on the card. Guys, this should easily get a silver label or a Beckett 9 is my prediction, which the Ninetales also came back. I think this will be a strong Beckett 9, but that is my prediction for this gray stamp first edition Hitmonchan. I will be going into the values and the prices and the populations, which means how many of these cards are out in the world. I don't know if there's any gray stamps at the top of my head. There was none of the nine tails that were graded in a BGS nine. I think we may may making history with this one as well. First edition Hitmonchan. So you saw the next one, which is, it's, it's so unfortunate because we pulled the Blastoise, but the Hitmonchan and especially this one, this Magneton was left high and dry. No one's talking about it. I'm going to take this one out, even though uh, it's in fantastic condition, but you'll notice like at the bottom left There looks like if it's not getting in focus for me. There we go. There's a spec like printing spec right there I believe there was something right over here as well. I Didn't see any print lines or anything like that on the hollow foil part uh, centering wise overall for the card is in Almost perfect shape. I would say maybe a little bit more from the top to the right and left, but that still probably should get a 9.5 for the centering. 
Uh, you can take a better even look at it on the back. And it's, I mean, it's almost flawless for the centering wise. I think the, the centering for, uh, should get a 9.5 for the first edition Magneton. Um, uh, let's see if I can get a better look. So it looks like there may be a little whitening. Yep, that's on there on the corner as they just knock the card. So that corner's good. That corner may be a little whitening at the bottom right of it, but it's barely not noticeable, but that still makes a difference. And a little bit of edge wear and a little bit ding right there, but it's really, really not too much. I don't see anything else on the surface of the card um, as I try to get this in focus. All right, so putting this gently back in the sleeve. And uh, for this one, it's going to get, it should get a Beckett 9.5. Um, obviously you saw the different types of things that would cause it to go down. Shouldn't get a nine, but maybe like a, you know, middle, middle ranged for my prediction, a Beckett 9.5 for this first edition Magneton, which is still incredible. This card, uh, it, you know, it's first edition, especially in this shape is very, very rare. Next up, we do have the main event, the first edition Blastoise, which I am not taking out of uh, this, I'm not touching it anymore. I did take it out after the opening. And uh, everything about this card is absolutely flawless, except there is one thing, which is taking me from a black label down to a pristine 10, which I will say this. There are no Blastoise pristine 10s from my recollection. Obviously, I'll look it up and do the population report from before, but if it comes back a pristine 10, you still get that gold label. It is better than 9.5. It's even better than a PSA 10, and uh, it would be absolute history with that. So, But that is because when you turn it this way, right over here on the other side, there's just a speck of whitening. I'm talking about a speck, but that's the difference between a black label, guys. Otherwise... No print lines, centering looks fantastic. Like everywhere it's just all congruent with the centering. So that should be perfect. And there's no surface marks or red marks or anything and no white marks anywhere else. So happy about this guys. That is why my prediction for this first edition Blastoise is a Beckett pristine 10. Trying to make history with this one. And this was obviously the one we pulled. There will be a link in the description if you missed it. It was amazing when we pulled it and very, very happy about this one. We're not done. We have another card I pulled. Well, basically I pulled all the cards in today's video. Charizard VMAX, the Rainbow Rare One. Now, I didn't rush to get this out graded and stuff. Primarily because, I mean, everybody's going to be getting this card graded, and it's really... I don't want to rush and try to get it graded. I wanted to do a guesty grade episode, and uh, taking a look at it, it's virtually flawless of a card. Like, there's no whitening. Uh, I'll get closer for y'all. There's no whitening on uh, the corners. So, in the edges, look perfect. Centering on the back looks perfect. Everything about this card is perfect, except the front potentially the centering from that side to that side it looks a little bit bigger on that side compared to that side that my friends is the only thing that's why i still think for my prediction a bgs or beckett pristine 10 gold label should still get it obviously you want the black label with this card with how many are going to be graded you know we've pulled already another one uh wait no we want i want to pull more uh we haven't pulled the shiny charizard and of course this is from champion's path and uh Eventually, maybe we'll grade those too, but this is the original one that I pulled on the channel about a week and a half ago. And uh, yeah, I think it should get a gold label Beckett Pristine 10 for my prediction. Last but not least, I thought let's just throw this in there. It's the full art shiny char- I mean, I always call this one shiny because it's the same artwork. Charizard V. I have not pulled a shiny, just so y'all know, but this one... Uh, it, it, it's almost perfect. It's almost perfect. It kind of has the same thing as the Charizard, but in reverse. It has a little bit more centering, I believe, on the right to the left. And uh, that's basically it. I mean, up here, maybe the centering's a bit more at the top, but you can you can just tell without getting too close. There's, there's nothing wrong with this card. So uh, for this one, and this is the one that comes in the Champion's Path Elite Trainer Box, my prediction for this Charizard V, because it would just look cool in a Beckett uh, case anyway, or just getting it graded. Uh, BGS Pristine Gold Label 10 
Centering is the only thing that would, uh, yeah, I would believe would keep this gone. So, we have five cards, but it's time to go to Beckett. Later. And we're back in the studio. Inside lies destiny or potentially thousands and thousands of dollars pending the grades. Now, I'm very, very excited about finding out what the Blastoise is. The Magneton is the Grace Stamp Hitmonchan. The Hitmonchan, no matter what it get, is going to be the only one in the world. And also, because I looked it up, the Charizard Rainbow Rare and the Full Art Charizard V will also be the only and first Charizards for Champion's Path graded as well for Beckett. So, let us begin with, ooh, that's new. They have little advertisements on there. All right, I don't want to see what do we got first. All right, here we go. This is, okay, so this is the Charizard V full art card from the Champion's Path Elite Trainer Boxes. This will be the only one and first one in the world. For now, there will be lots of these graded. If you are interested in any of the cards and you are a serious buyer, please reach out to me via email as these will go fast, pending the grades. All right. I said not a black label for this one because of, I believe the centering was a little off. So I did say for my prediction was a BGS pristine gold label 10. And there we go. One for one. First, you get a little gander at the whole thing. And perfect. I am like perfect so far. Yay for being perfect. Okay, so this got tens on corner surface and the edges as predicted. But the centering got back a 9.5. And there it is, that pristine 10 gold label. I didn't think this one was going to get a black label anyway. It would have been awesome, but you can clearly tell the centering on that side is more compared to the centering on the left side over here, just so y'all can get a better peek at that. There is the back, and just so we can just see, everything is absolutely flawless on this card, which is fantastic. So. This, my friends, is the very first and only Beckett Pristine 10. Of course, black labels and more of these will be coming around soon, but it is awesome. As far as price goes, I don't really want to put a price on this exactly. It's just really who's willing to pay at what point because there's really no market for these at the moment, but there will be. So, but there we go. This one we shall set aside and we are one for one. Next up, what do we have? Okay, we got the rainbow one. The rainbow Charizard secret rare from Champion's Path. I also said for my prediction, a BGS 10 pristine. Now, I believe I did say something about the centering. Uh, it was like kind of like the opposite of the shiny, I mean, shiny Charizard. There it goes again, the Charizard V. So hopefully we get it. What? A 9.5, the surface, what? Wait, and the centering got a 10? I'm sorry. What? How did the... What did I miss on the surface that gave it a 9? And the corners got a 9.5? All right, we got to do some... Uh, we got to do some looking at this one. So they're saying the surface got a 9.5. I'm going to try to go as close as possible. Can y'all see anything on this? I mean, they obviously have to see something. Look at the corners. There's no whitening on the corners. So I'm just not seeing anything on this card. Anything you like would see, like over here? See, it came off because that was just dust. What did they see on the surface that gave it a nine? Because that's not. I mean, that's good score, but th like this should have been better. No whitening or anything on this. <laughs> so the corners got a 9.5. Maybe it's because of the way they're cut, I guess? You can kind of say they're not as circularly. Um, the centering, which is what I was talking about, is... Wait, 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 there we go. 
is more on the left side than the right, I would say. Right? Doesn't that look like that? I'm not that crazy. I'm crazy, but not that crazy. So overall, getting a more bigger picture of it, um, I'm a little surprised. And perhaps if y'all let me know in the comment section below, if you would like me to do a regrade for this one, uh, or if you're just interested in purchasing it outright and doing what as you please with it, uh, let me know. But uh, very, very interesting grade for this one. So we did get it wrong, but it was by 0.5. So nothing too crazy. All right, uh, the next three are the big wigs. What are we starting off with this time around? Okay, so it's the first edition Magneton. Now, earlier on in this video, when we looked at the card, I believe, excuse me, I believe I did see a couple things with the surface and the centering, I think may have been off just a little. And we did see some stuff on the corners, but I still gave it a 9.5 gold label. 9.5 gold label. First off, take a look. Wait, wait, what? Wait, hold on a minute. The surface got a 10? Wait, guys, I pointed this out. This mark right there and this mark right there and it got a 10? I mean, I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. I'm just surprised. Corners got a 9.5. I'll show you the corners and centering and edges all got 9.5s. So the corners, nothing's on that corner. Nothing's on that corner. Um, maybe like I said before, little edge wear uh, whitening over there. And there's a little sneak peek at whitening right there. So the centering wise for this, and please everybody, I need your eyes like a spirit bomb. Um, I guess that's technically your energy, but don't give me too much. We need it to keep watching. Centering looks, I think the centering looks perfect on this card from that end. I guess you can kind of argue maybe from left to right, just a bit and maybe from the top, I guess. Yeah, from the top, but nothing too crazy. It gave you that 9.5, the edge is 9.5, but the surface somehow came back a flawless 10. This is actually phenomenal. Like I'm very surprised right now. That's why I'm so like, what? This is awesome. 9.5s with a 10, that is strong. That is a strong, strong 9.5. So for the first edition Magneton, I'm, we got the grade, but a little surprised. I thought it would be more of a middle-aged, middle-aged, <laughs> middle-aged Magneton. A middle of the pile 9.5. Now this is a higher end one, so that's awesome. So I'll take it. Uh, Matt, oh, prices for this one, they'll be on screen. But, uh, and population wise, will be on screen too. All right, do we either have the Blastoise or the Gray Stamp Hitmonchan? What do we got? The Gray Step Stamp. Why am I all over the place today? The Gray Stamp Hitmon Jackie Chan. I said a silver label nine mint, just like the Nine Tails. So let's see it. It got the silver label mint nine. Look at that. So centering got a nine, which is appropriate because you can see how much more centering yellow is on the right compared to the left. Corners got a nine, surface got a nine. I guess the licking did <laughs> good job on this card. Edges got a 9.5. So centering was a bit better on the back than the front. But at the same time, let's take a look at the corners of this card. Little mark right there. That looks clean. That looks clean. And uh, maybe like a tad wee bit mark right there. So for this specific one, it has the gray stamp. This is the only gray stamp. This is the only gray stamp that has been uh, graded by Beckett, much less, you know, a nine. And it does have in the title, just so we get closer for y'all again, it says gray stamp. So it is official, but there are all these subgrades in the overall grade for this card, Gray Stamp, Hitmon Chan. There are Gray Stamp and Air misprint card collectors out there that will definitely love to add this to their collection. Uh, feel free to contact me on that end. However, it's the only one, so I think that's something neat. And we pulled it too, so that's really special. So there we go with that, but we are at the main event. I'm nervous about this one. So for this one, it is the first edition Blastoise. My prediction was a Beckett Pristine 10. Definitely no black label. It's definitely Beckett Pristine 10, I, I would hope. Um, 
Basically, we can make history if it gets the 10. Uh, 9.5 would still be phenomenal. Um, but here we go. What? No way! It got a nine? What? What? The, the corner's got an eight point five. Oh man, this is embarrassing. So the centering, the edges, and surface all got nine point fives, and we're gonna check it. Don't go nowhere. The corner's got an eight point five. Which gave it, if that was a 9 for the corners, this would have been a 9.5. I don't think, okay, we're going to take a look. But just so y'all can see, there it is. Thick boy, thick stamp. So it is saying everything is a 9.5 on this card. Except, but I don't, I didn't see anything with the surface or anything. But here we go. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I believe this is the only thing wrong with the card as I had mentioned. This little speck right there. There. Now take a look at all the other edges. Okay, maybe, a, okay, wait, is there a little white in there? Or is that the edge? That, I guess that qualifies as the edge, because the corner is right there. Nothing on that corner. And I'm trying, to, I'm trying to piece together what exactly happened here. There is nothing, that's inside the case. I already checked that earlier. Um, looks good there. I'm really intently looking at this, and looks good there. Otherwise, the rest, you can take a look at the edges on that. If we see anything on the surface as well, I am so, so, so surprised that this got a mint 9. I'm obviously going to regrade this, because if we can get those corners, should be a 9. I feel like writing like an essay or something on why it should be. If that gets a 9, this bumps up to a 9.5. But more importantly, I think some of those other ones deserve tens. I really do disagree with this great. Not just because, you know, the value of it is significantly more, but it's the fact that I real like, I don't see anything wrong with this card when you're comparing it to the other cards that we just showed. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the surprise of the century. Um, I'm going to get this one graded for sure. So... <laughs> Stay tuned on that end, but there we go. The first edition basic Blastoise that we pulled surprisingly comes back a silver ladle nine, but that's okay. We will, we will be back and stronger than ever. But there we go. Heart Squad, I hope you enjoyed it. Guess that great in all its surprises today. You want more videos? Well, they're coming up, and I promise you surprises to come. My name is Leanheart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.